Hello everyone, welcome to Ignition. Hello, and today we're going to retest the emergency systems, the braking side on our T-Cross. So, if you've watched, and if you haven't watched, go back and watch it, where we test our Volkswagen against my Fiat Panda. We did, and the, the results were quite surprising. Yeah, the, the, the T-Cross failed miserably. Since then, it's been into the dealer, had a clean bill of health, and we had a fair few comments, some saying that a, a dummy isn't good enough and we should put silver foil on, so we have. Yep. But, but more interestingly, um, I've had a conversation with Mike, who's head of press and public relations at Volkswagen, and let me tell you what he tells us that we should do. Um, so in essence, the emergency electronic braking is designed to operate only in the most specific of circumstances. It is not designed to stop, for example, if a bin bag or a large piece of cardboard blows into the road on a windy day. It is looking for a precise shape and dynamic movement, that's the key, dynamic movement uh, of a person oh. running, walking into the road. This is why a simulated figure standing, Uncle Harry just... Chilling chilling did not set off the trigger points of this so car what you're saying is no mike saying what, what mike's saying is if i'm so I'm, you know, I'm going around a corner and there's a man standing there just yeah. standing yeah it's not going to stop for him we don't theoretically well we're going to try and test that it has to be moving yes you're saying. Yes, that is what he's saying, and that's, that's what, that's, that, to be fair, there were a few comments, yeah. um, mainly on Facebook, I hasten to add, um, on the T-Cross owner's site, mm. who were stating that, and some put a copy of the owner's manual right. up, saying that. So, if I said to you, if you had a five-year-old child, yep. and that five-year-old child ran in the road to pick a ball up, yep. And a car came round the corner with a twerp on his mobile phone. Yes. Would you rather that be in a Fiat Panda or a T-Cross heading towards your child? Uh, well, as we speak, I'd rather him be in the Fiat Panda. So would I. So we're going to retest this, yep. but we're going to test it by pulling Uncle Harry in front of the car. And what's the reasoning for the aluminium foil? Someone told me to do it. Okay. Because the argument is that this is a... Non-visible to the car, is that? Potentially. Yeah. So we've got metal on it, we've got chain on the bottom, he's wearing his, um, what, what do people... It looks like a Burger King hat. No, it? they reckon that, um, you know, uh, the Americans were brainwashing. People oh, used to God. sit in with aluminium. Anyway, boring. Yeah. Um, so that is the reason for the aluminum okay. foil, right. so that that gives him something to see, but it seems to be dynamic movement. So let's carry on. Okay. Um, the simulated figure statistically will not trigger it. Right. Uh, so a Thatcham video is watchable uh, of the T-Cross test. The reason for it, operating under the most specific of situations, it will be dangerous for the car to apply an emergency stop too sensitively. You can imagine how this could cause accidents itself. I tend to agree with that. Me too. Um, there's a but for me. Mm -hmm. I expect this car if it hits another car, I'm not as concerned as if it hits a child. True. Right. I don't want to hit. A, I don't want to hit anybody. No, no, no. People right? are much. I worse. don't want to get out and have to deal with somebody. Mm. I want my car. So so far, my Fiat Panda, ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Yeah. So if you haven't watched that, go back. The Fiat Panda, which someone commented scored naught on um, a crash test. test, which is absolute bollocks. It didn't. Um, but the Panda may not be as good if an Arctic hits me as yeah. this. Don't think there's going to be a lot of difference. Interior safety, but yeah. the actual safety aspect of the Panda, we were really chuffed with and oh, we yeah. were gutted about this because we both thought this but, would work. Yeah, well, we both thought complete opposite. We thought this would be brilliant Panda, terrible. Yeah. So let's revisit. We've gone on long enough. Let's yeah. revisit the test. Our theory is we're going to pull Uncle Harry in front of the car. We're going to do it at Let's just go straight for 30. 30, okay. Um, yes. The Fiat Panda stopped at 30, so this can stop at yes. 30. We'll pull it in front. Hopefully that will work, but then we'll also revisit this stationary, because okay. I will be very, very, very disappointed if this car 
does not detect that standing in front of it. Me too. Not moving. I don't care what Mike says. No. no. I will be disappointed. Me too. Fine. If that's what Volkswagen think that car's good yes. enough of doing, we'll accept that. But we're not going to be But we will happy. not be happy with this car. No. And I can imagine that me and my wife will be having a lot of discussions. She loves this car. Yeah. We love this car. Oh, it's a fantastic car. It's a fantastic car. But this car, to me, does not protect us and protect other people as I expect. No, no, not at all. So but let's hopefully disprove yeah. that today. Yes, I hope we, we're, really we're, hope we're rooting for mm, this because no, this could massively. cost us dough. Well, this is the reason we bought it, so. Let's crack on. on. Okay, so my dad's holding on to Harry um, because the wind, unfortunately, is very high. So I'm gonna hop in the car and we're gonna go straight in for 30 kilometers an hour and my dad's gonna pull it. We've got a piece of rope here attached to it. Fingers crossed this works. Um, I'm rooting for the Volkswagen. Okay, this is crash test with a moving subject in the Volkswagen T-Cross. We're in regular drive mode and we're going for 30 kilometers an hour. Absolutely nothing on that one. That was a good hit. Oh, I was trying not to swear as well. Well, that's a disappointment. There was no no missing that. I mean, that sounded like a proper well, hit. No, there was no mistaking that, that there was something coming across the road there. Well, it's quite a weight to pull as well. It felt like a weight to hit, actually. No, that was a proper, it felt like a proper good thump. There wasn't a beep, wasn't a ding. Absolutely nothing on that one. There wasn't a noise, no lights, nothing. Right, we've had it. We, we've added this in. We've had lunch, and we've watched tests of the T Cross stopping brilliantly in controlled environment, should we say? Yes. And one of it, it, it went at it the back of a, the back of an inflatable, inflatable car. Inflatable car. So we still think that we're possibly we're doing something wrong, but we needed three of us. So we've got the um, car testing ninja in who doesn't want to be seen on screen. It's not that it would frighten children, and we don't want to go for yeah. over eighteen because you know. <laughs> So we've got the Urban Ninja in. Let's show the back of this Urban Ninja if you could uh, go round. So we've again continued with silver foil. So, so, so we're trying to simulate the car coming up against a wall yes. or the back of a lorry. The back of a truck, another big car. Because the, the, the metal thickness shouldn't particularly affect nope. this. And if you came up against the back of a caravan, which yes. was made of aluminum, yes. this should simulate it. So we're going to stand here, me and the Ninja, and we're, I'm going to drive at it. He's going to drive at it, and let's see what happens. Okay. Okay, so we're simulating the back of a vehicle, and I will be going at 10 kilometers an hour this time, as it is a little bit more dangerous. Right, get ready. Go. Yeah, that worked well. Come on, we've got to do it again. Why? Because we weren't going fast enough for the parking sensors to turn off. Okay. So they, the parking sensors were on. Okay, let's do it again. I'll turn them off. Okay, now I'm going for the test again as the parking sensor light was still on. And we're gonna turn that off. Uh, we weren't going fast enough. So to give this 100% a chance, I'm gonna be doing 20 kilometers an hour, parking sensors 100% off, and here we go. Oh God. Right, get ready. Yeah. And... Absolutely not. Absolutely nothing. So finally, um, we are going to try it with the Panda. Um, firstly, the Ninja wants to see it, actually. She's become quite interested as it's her T-Cross. So we thought just to show whether we're barking up the wrong tree or not, because um, obviously a blanket with some aluminium foil in, I've not seen it done before, so we could just be doing a load of rubbish. So, But if the Fiat gets it, the Volkswagen, in my opinion, should as well. So um, let's give that a try. Okay, now you join me inside the Fiat Panda. We'll be replicating the exact same test at 20 kilometers per hour, and I'll be using second gear. Um, and yes, we're just in regular driving mode. That is 20. Let go. That's how it should be, isn't it? Yeah. Urban Ninja's not gonna be happy about this. Thrashing my car, the bastard. <laughs> um, sorry, the cars are dirty. T 
too sunny to wash them, they'll be getting washed tonight. Yeah. Uh, so. Not chuffed whatsoever. No, but I am going to send uh, an edit, a real edited down version of this to Volkswagen because they've been quite, to be fair, they've been very helpful. And um, I still want to know where, what we're doing wrong. Uh, we've taken the aluminium foil yep. on board, we've added weight, we've added movement, we've added size. And I'm so glad we thought of doing it with the Panda again because it's... Yes, but it's the fact that the car's not even alerting me that it's even seen it. It's No. I haven't had one beep, I have had nothing. Other than once I've hit it, the parking sensors turn on. That's the only thing that happens. Yeah, so again, we're in Portugal, so your country's vehicle may differ from ours, but we're of the opinion that this T-Cross is fairly fundamental of all of them. It's been into the dealer, it's had a full service, it's been on the laptop. We're told that that's all, because I said, well, can you drive it at the wall and show me what will happen? They're obviously not prepared to do that. I fully understand, really. I was only doing it tongue in cheek. And um, they don't seem to be able to test these systems. So the only way they can test it is on a PC, which is really why we've continued to do this, yeah. because I, I'm believing and I'm really hoping that this car is faulty, because although having read what Volkswagen say, that should have stopped today. It should, yes, it should have, because we've seen on YouTube, I mean, we've, we'll enter a clip yeah. of the video um, of it driving towards an inflatable car. I mean, it's not going to be able to And a little it. man being pulled across, yeah. and all the, the only difference is he's got little moving legs, but the whole thing was moving. Yeah, the whole thing was moving. So and I the other thing with the, the blanket, which may or may not be a good idea, but it's covered in aluminium foil, and me and the Urban Ninja are standing next to it as yeah, well, so yeah, it yeah. should be able and to... And you're just... jumping that way. Yeah, so, so we're, really... you know... Um, so anyway, hopefully... Um, I don't know whether this is helpful or not, or hopefully we've found it interesting. It's but fascinating. A big thanks to the Urban Ninja, who yes. did not want to help us, took a fair bit of coaxing to get her out of her secret lair. Yep. And uh, she was very good. <laughs> very helpful. And you. stood in front of the car, which I didn't think she would do. No. So she was really helpful. Yep. So um, well, thank you for watching. There will be a, I'm a sorry, there will be a part three, I think. Yep. So thanks for watching. Thank you. Oh, if anybody have got any interesting comments, factual ones, we would be very interested. And the, uh, whoever gave us, forget your name, so do apologise, whoever gave us the aluminium foil idea, thank you very much. Oh,